Hello Aries and welcome to your April love reading. So Aries, what does April hold for your love life? So remember before I get started that these videos are generalized. Take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't as that will resonate with someone else. And if you need your own personal reading, my website is in the description box below. Just go to my website and book your reading and I'll be happy to work with you. Also remember to uh, comment, like, and also subscribe and hit the notification bell. So Aquari Aries, <laughs> I don't know why I was going to talk about Aquarius. Is an Aquarius person involved in your life? That's the question there. So Aries, let's have a look at what love has in store for you in April. All right, so we've got the Two of Pentacles. And what the Two of Pentacles talks about is, hmm, it's talking about keeping your options open. Perhaps you're single and this guy over here likes you or this girl over here likes you and you are keeping your options open. You don't know which one to choose. So I can see that there's a love interest or love interests that are definitely showing an interest, in, uh, an interest into you. So good luck choosing. The two of pentacles in a love reading can also indicate that Perhaps you are in a relationship, but it's asking you to be careful because when I've seen the two uh, pentacles be before, it's indicated cheaters that, you know, your love interest could be, could be having other lovers on the side. And so now they are juggling you and other people as well. So maybe um, on Tuesdays, they see you on Wednesdays, they see someone else on Thursdays, they see someone else. And if it's something that you agree on, that is fine. But if something that you haven't agreed on, just be aware that this could indicate that your lover is juggling um, more than one love interest. Or perhaps it's you juggling more than one love interest because you have so many people who are interested in you. So let's have a look, Aries. Let's have a look about how, how this thing is going on. And this is interesting. I definitely see that this is an interesting uh, reading. So now we've got the Three of Cups. And what the Three of Cups talks about, it talks about, really it talks about happiness, usually. <laughs> but in a love reading, again, it can indicate cheating. I've seen this many times in love readings, especially when these two cards are, are together. And I mean, it's plain to see why I would say that there could be some in infidelity here. Because you can see here, there is three cups sharing the love. And yeah, so your love interest or you could be definitely dating more than one person. And again, like I said, if it's something that you've agreed on, that is fine. But if it's something that you haven't, just be aware. So Aries, that is definitely interesting. Interesting. I rarely ever get uh, the Three of Cups and the Two of Pentacles uh, together and there isn't some, you know, some cheating going on. So I'm just saying. All right. And again, <laughs> Aries, the third card here that we have is the Devil card. And the Devil card is indicating that maybe you know that there's something fishy going on. Or maybe your partner knows that there's something fishy going on with you. They are definitely suspecting something in their mind. They are definitely thinking that something is a little bit off. So could it be that even though you know that your other half, that they are not faithful, you are choosing to stay with them. And that is fine. If that's something that makes you happy or something that, you know, you can't really choose or control, there's no judgment over here. But th this definitely shows that there's two, more than two people involved in a relationship. But the devil card indicates that you could be choosing to stay stuck or that your partner is very manipulative about this relationship. This card can also indicate about um, that you've got low self-esteem, especially when it, come, when it comes to this relationship. Because maybe, I don't know, you've got kids together or maybe you have a house together. And you just think, I can't just leave or this relationship has come to an end. 
but you still thinking that you know what so much of our life is intertwined what is my parents gonna think when i say that we're splitting up what are my friends gonna think when i when i tell them that this relationship is ended so i can see that you definitely there's a lot in your mind going on at the moment so what i would say with this card is definitely you know face any any situations that you don't agree with if you're okay with this situation then say la vie you know live and let live as they say it's is cool but if you're not then definitely don't be in denial face this situation and stand up for yourself because you deserve to be happy but if the other person that you're dating doesn't see you standing up for yourselves for yourself then they are going to just carry on and this is not fair on you so i decided to choose another card just to get some more clarification on this situation because again these three cards together like rarely ever come in when i'm doing a love together in this in this combination so the next card that i have here is the ten of uh pentacles and this the ten of pentacles could indicate that mm, usually it's a card about abundance let's say if i was doing a money reading i'll be like yeah you're feeling abundant you're feeling happy you're feeling like you're well provided for everything is cool so yeah this card usually uh indicates that but in this reading with these cards here as well because the devil card is a major arcana card so it holds the weight of this reading what i'm gonna say is like um yeah i definitely feel that there is definitely some cheating going on here or someone is cheating on you and if you're married they are deciding that it's cheaper to keep you than divorce you because if they divorce you maybe you're gonna take you know half the wealth with you and they're just thinking you know what i'm just gonna keep my side chick or my side boy on the side and just keep quiet because it is a lot cheaper just to stay in this relationship than getting a divorce or it is a lot cheaper just to stay in this relationship because i like the house that we live in so this is a relationship that you're having it's a relationship of convenience it's not really based on love with the ten of pentacles i've also seen that maybe that this is actually an arranged marriage or an arranged relationship right because in this day there's still many cultures out there that has, that still do arranged marriages so this could indicate that this arranged marriage is only existing because it's good for for the family's legacy for instance it's good for the family wealth so maybe you and your other half being together is actually really good for for the family but in this relationship you're not happy but you could be feeling that i can't leave this relationship because what what is the neighbors gonna say what are the relatives gonna say so now you're worried about what other people and you are staying in this relationship out of convenience so i can definitely see that there's a lot of thought there's a lot of thought just going round and round in your mind what can i do if we separate you know um my family could be really mad with me or I, you know like all this all these things maybe if we separate i can afford to live by myself so i can definitely see you thinking a lot but yeah aries this is certainly interested i would be very interested if you could comment and let me know if this is what you're experiencing and how this reading has spoken to you so aries like i say this uh, relationship you could be choosing to, to stay stuck there and if that's convenient for you again there's no judgment just do you do what makes you happy so i'm gonna leave it at that and let you make up your own mind but this is what the reading is saying so as you know if you watch my uh, my other videos i usually like to use uh, different divination systems so the next divination system i want to use is the angel and uh, ancestors oracle cards just so they can like just give us some more information about what's going on here all right so the first card that came here was the fire guardian and if you just go a bit closer the fire gu guardian is talking about ignite your passion which is interesting which is interesting because let's say you are in this relationship and it's you who's you know who's who's playing the field a little bit 
if you let this relationship go you know like we can see our fire guardian he's got his hands opened he is releasing he is just surrendering to the situation if you let this relationship go you could actually end up igniting something beautiful inside you instead of saying staying in a situation that is just out of convenience where there's no love you could actually end up igniting some passion and finding someone who actually really wants to be with you and really completes you so this is definitely an interesting card so i'm gonna see what the next card has to say so that card just wanted to jump out of my hand right you're staying there you're not going anywhere you're in this relationship and you're stuck with these other cards <laughs> Aries I'm playing so let's have a look so we've got the seer is the next card that we have and let's zoom in a little bit closer see beyond the current situation interesting so like I said with the fire with the fire guardian which asked you to like just open your eye uh, your, your hands and just surrender just surrender this situation and you know and just think you know what i want to be happy i want i deserve better than this so you're opening your arms and you're surrendering and letting go and then the seer is coming in and looking into the crystal ball and asking you to see beyond this situation so if you're opening your arms letting go if you're seeing beyond this situation how do you see this situation being resolved how do you see you getting out of this situation so that's definitely something that i want you to really spend some time thinking about because staying in a relationship that doesn't really make you happy in the long run is just going to make you sick it's just going to sort of like just drain you and it's not really um it's not really really healthy in the long run right so let's say you've got an arranged marriage and you're feeling stuck you're feeling unhappy but you're just thinking i'm going to stay here because my parents xyz how can you see beyond this situation and make better choices for your life because remember this life is for you to live not your parents not your family not your culture it's about you so how can you change this so let's have a look at some uh, uh, goddess oracle cards so the first goddess oracle card that we have is the unconditional love and if we just go a bit closer it's talking about love yourself others and every situation no matter what the outcome appears no matter what the outward appearance may be i'm going to read that again because actually like i was saying this actually has got a really important message so i'm going to focus here so you can read for yourself so love yourself others and every situation no matter what the outward appearance may be right so let's say let's just assume for instance that this is a an arranged marriage right and you are worried about the appearance like oh this is going to look bad on the family but our un unconditional love is asking you to actually look at the whole situation no matter what anyone else thinks it's about what you want and this was this were exactly my last words that culture conditions you know family all that stuff really in the end is all about you you chose to be in this life you chose to be on this planet and all the decisions that you make really are, are in your hands it might feel that you are your hands are tied it might feel that you know you are gonna get um disowned by your family because you're the first person to get uh, to get divorced or whatever it is but honestly happiness is with it is in your is in your grasp it's in your hands it's yours for you to command and demand you deserve it so let's have a look at another card i love this card so we've got lakshmi and lakshmi talks about a bright future and the reason i like this card is because we've got lakshmi right over there so Lakshmi always watches over all my readings because I love her. <laughs> so I'm really happy to see this card because Lakshmi is talking about, let's have a look. Stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. And I couldn't be happier to hear that for you. So definitely what Lakshmi here is talking about is like, oh, this situation that you've got here, 
right now it just feels so big so overwhelming it is just a lot you're spending so much time thinking about it but really when it's all said and done if you take things into your own hands let things that you can control just release them ask your angels ask your guardians to help you to you know to help you with the situation to help comfort you and in the end just stop worrying about it stop worrying about what everyone thinks stop worrying about all these rules that we have to follow and stop worrying about xyz because i could see that maybe you um you are worried that oh um i am gay and what's what's going to happen when everyone finds out and when i come out of the closet the family is going to hate me really stop worrying about that because you actually don't know and even if they hate you at least you can live life on your own terms instead of hiding away hiding who you truly are so aries i'm gonna send you my guiding angels my <laughs> my love everything because i feel that you are gonna need it whilst you're resolving this situation here aries remember I do private readings and my information is in the description box below so just get in touch with me and I can look at your own personal circumstances otherwise uh, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell and I will see you tomorrow because I also do daily tarot videos which are just really short and to the point and just gives you the flavor of the day Aries I'm gonna love you and leave you and I'll see you very soon. And that's it from me.